everybody and let me at the beginning to pass warm regards of my ambassador Jan Tombiski who was looking very much forward to be present today and to have a very open and fruitful discussion with you but as it was said he has some other important commitments and he requested me to replace him and to be with you tonight I'm uh, I am happy that I am with you and I will be, I will be looking forward for our uh, good discussion. And also let me congratulate the organizers of the Kiev Mohila University for this initiative to organize this meeting, this roundtable discussion to discuss in a very open and transparent way the benefits and maybe also the risks of the possible signing of the association agreement of the path of your country towards Europe to integrate with the European market and associate politically with the European Union. As for your country, it, is, it lies on the eastern border of Europe and it's uh, very strategic, strategic partner for the European Union on the eastern border. And as a, such an important country, European Union is, of course, it's natural, interested to have prosperity and stability on its border. And it was also the reason why in 2007 decided and offered to Ukraine to start negotiations on the association agreement. And then, after the accession of Ukraine to the World Trade Organization, uh, it offered, the European Union offered Ukraine to start negotiations on very deep uh, trade uh, agreement, deep and comprehensive free trade agreement. Such a type of the association agreement including a deep and comprehensive free trade area was never ever offered to any third country before. And as you know, Ukraine has followers, negotiations on the association agreement, including this uh, deep and uh, comprehensive free trade area, were competed with two other countries, Moldova and Georgia. So if they speed up, they also have a good chance to sign this agreement in the, I cannot say, uh, upcoming months or years, but in future. As for Ukraine, this agreement is mutually beneficial for all of us, for the EU and Ukraine. As I said, when it is signed, Ukraine will step by step politically associate and economically integrate with the European Union. With the signing of the agreement and with the step-by-step uh, -step adoption of the European uh, acquis related to trade and standards, within the next couple of years, Ukraine has a huge chance to reach the EU standards. That means it should undergo a needed reform process to change its economy to adopt the standards of Ukrainian products to the EU standards. When this process is materialized, then Ukrainian products will correspond to the EU standards or those standards will be European, Ukrainian standards and Ukrainian products will be highly competitive not only on the internal market of the EU but also on all international markets. However, I wish to say that we are not that far. Still, Ukraine is on its way to meet the benchmarks which were set up by the Foreign Affairs Council, by the foreign uh, ministers of the European Union 
to help to assist Ukraine to come closer to our uh, values and standards. Uh, nowadays, we know that very important uh, law on the General Prosecutor's Office will, let's hope, be voted in the next days, maybe even tonight, in the Rada. And then another important law on the uh, election, on the parliamentary elections could also be uh, voted successfully. This is at least what the EU delegation representatives uh, very much believe in. And I think many of you present in this uh, hall, very nice hall, would wish that the deputies of the Verkhovna Rada will, will take a very pragmatic approach and will follow the strategic vision of this country to economically, to, to integrate into, into the European Union. Of course, the third law, which, or the third option, which should contribute to solve the case, the last case of the selective justice, is also of utmost importance. So, if we speak about the risks, these are the current risks that Ukrainian, Ukraine, Ukrainian deputies would fail to deliver. And as I am a diplomat, I'm always uh, used to wait until the very last days, moments. And we know the mentality of Ukraine. And me, uh, during three and a half years of my assignment in your country, I witnessed several times that we in the EU were almost giving up our hope that Ukraine would deliver, but it did. It mobilized its potential to deliver. And this potential is, believe me, very, very huge. And However, I am very open. Europe does not understand this approach but it's a reality. Uh, when, let's take the optimistic scenario, the agreement, Ukraine will deliver very pragmatically and the association agreement is signed. What are the next steps? The next step will be that the agreement will be ratified in RADA and part of it will be provisionally applicated. And based on this agreement, Ukraine will start its reform process, its practical reform agenda for your country to meet EU standards. It is, it is proved that those countries which signed free trade, uh, free trade agreements with the European Union uh, accelerated their economic growth because of what I mentioned, because the products of those countries met EU standards and competitiveness of those countries uh, raised enormously. This is the, the chance for your country and I think Ukraine deserves it. With this uh, step-by-step -step process of reforms, uh, business standards, business climate will improve. Also the investment climate. Your economy will become very, very attractive for foreign investors. New technologies will, will flow to Ukraine. New jobs will be created. With this, of course, Wages will rise, standard of living will rise because people will have more money in their pockets and then they would have the options to buy more goods and live in better conditions. And this is what your people, your country deserves very much. Uh, 
If I understood correctly, there are also some uh, fears of Ukrainians. I fully agree. You are not the only country, people of which are afraid of changes, of something new. It's practically natural for all mankind, for psychology of people. Believe me, those countries, your neighbors, which 30 years ago were in the same economic system, they underwent the process, the reform process, and the population of the, those countries was also afraid of those changes. The reform process, we have to be very open and transparent, is not an easy process. It will have, uh, for a couple of years, also not some impact on the population, sometimes not only positive impact, but the experience of those countries and population of those countries showed and proved it's worth going this path. So I wish very much your country success and people of your country success on this path. And let's keep our fingers crossed and let's pray <laughs> when we are in the Catholic University for the pragmatic decisions of your deputies. Thank you.